Many years ago, Martin Luther King once said that 11 o'clock on Sunday morning is the most segregated hour in the entire week. It was true years ago, and to some extent, it is still true today. But Reverend David Umflett, people of St. Mary's Church and High Point University are going to address that and all of the issues of human reconciliation. David, thank you for being with Please Note. Thanks, Bishop. What are you guys going to do? On Sunday, October 27th at 7 p.m. at the Community Life Center at St. Mary's, we're hosting a panel conversation in, in, joint, uh, in conjunction with High Point University. And the panel conversation is entitled Reconciliation in the Pew. Why do all my church members look like me? And we have some local faith uh, community leaders who are going to come and tell their own stories. And we have uh, some really uh, well-known and well-respected scholars who are going to come in and be a part of that conversation as well. We have Willie Jennings from Duke University. He's an associate professor of theology and black church studies. And we have M. Sean Copeland from Boston College, who's a professor of theology there. So the professors are going to talk, but other people are going to tell their story? That's right. Professors are going to be in conversation with local faith community leaders from High Point who are telling the story. And you're going to moderate. And I'll moderate. That's right. That's right. Why am I moderating it? Why does this matter? Why is this important to you? Well, it's important to us uh, because when we look at our community in High Point, um, and there may be the, the Taiwanese Presbyterian Church or the traditionally African American Baptist Church or the um, almost all white Methodist Church, whatever they are on Sunday mornings. And if we are worshiping that way on Sunday mornings, and that's the home we found for ourselves, we think it's really important to then also ask the question, how do we live into that beloved larger community when it's not Sunday morning? How are we conscious of living into every family, language, tribe, people, and nation um, outside of and into the comfortable subgroups on Sunday mornings? Because that is the vision of the Bible. That's right. It's pretty clear. That's right. Well, now, would people who don't live in High Point be interested in it? Oh, I think so. I think it, well, the faith leaders are going to be telling local stories, but it's certainly a subject that applies you know, across our diocese and across the nation for sure. And we've included information on this upcoming event with this edition of Please Note. But this is actually significant. And sometimes, you know, to be honest, it's important to talk about reconciliation and engage it on real, tangible, practical levels. Right. Bring the theologians in, but you're bringing people with real stories. That's right. That's right. Real, real local stories. We hope this will be applicable in the life of the community. That was the goal of St. Mary's Park. Because there's another event the next day. Uh, this, the scholars will be at High Point University uh, for a lecture at 4.30. Uh, and that's called Embodying the Beloved Community, uh, Race, and Religion. Uh, and so oh. they'll be doing uh, more of an academic conversation the next day. But they're going to be part of this um, this more practical conversation on Sunday night. Can you say, I was actually intrigued, and David was telling me before we started taping, um, about the, 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 the persons and the people who are behind this and why they did this. Can you say a little bit about that? Sure. There's a, a local um, benefactor mm -hmm. who, three years ago, wanted to start a new lecture series with High Point University, and they were looking for a local faith community partner, and we were fortunate to be the folks they came to. And, mm -hmm. We had Marcus Borg that first year, mm -hmm. and last year we had Amy Jill Levine from Vanderbilt. Um, and then this year we have uh, our scholars from Duke and uh, Boston College. I think it's a fantastic opportunity. And if you can, you want to be at this event, right. and it's going to be held at St. Mary's Church in the new community center? That's right. 7 p.m. October 27th. You know, the truth is these are not easy conversations to have, and these are very often conversations we avoid. So. Thank you, High Point University. Thank you, St. Mary's. Thank you, David Humphrey. And thank you, High Point community, for having these conversations. We're glad to have the opportunity. And these kind of conversations can be had elsewhere. They can be had in every local community if there are people who would like to. Our School of Ministry has a resource on godly conversation on difficult subjects that can be a resource for communities having similar conversations. God bless you, and keep the faith.